Novella, and today I'm going to read you Panda and Polar Bear by Ma Matt Matt Su J B. In a place where spring met winter, there lived two kinds of bears. There it was, green and grassy, lived the panda bears. And there it was, white and wintry, lived the polar bears. A tall, steep, and slippery cliff. It was too tall for a panda bear to climb up, and too tall for a polar bear to climb down. And, and so the two never met. And have one curious polar bear became too curious what was beyond his right wintry world. He walked closer to the edge of the cliff and closer and closer and closer still. Perhaps a little too close. <laughs> Lucky the polar bear he landed in a in a patch of soft, squishy, squishy mud, which was sticky and brown and yuck. Stomp, stomp, stomp! Something was coming. The polar bear ran, but the cliff was too tall. Uh, too steep and too slippery to climb up. Stump, stump, stump. Hump. The polar bear here covered his eyes. His, he peeped from behind in his muddy paws. And saw a strange, spooky bear staring at him. Are you new? asked the strange, spooky bear. It's a splotchy bear. Splotchy bear. Do you want to play? Um, said the polar bear. The sp splotchy bear took this as a yes. This, uh, this in no time, in no time, they were climbing trees. Come, come, come. They hide and seek. I'm hiding. <laughs> and following the leader. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, they sat down for a snack. Yuck, but the polar bear. Yuck, but the polar bear. Yuck, but the polar bear. Uh, this bamboo is too hard. He had better. He had a better idea. Let's this, he said, with head to his new splotchy friend. Splotchy friend. The polar bear looked into the water and gasped. Could it be? 
could it be? <laughs> he wasn't playing right anymore. He had turned into a sloppy bear. bear. Splash! Mm. He swam out next to fish and proudly presented his catch. We are fading, the splotchy bear said. And where are your panda patches? Panda patches? The polar bear replied, Aren't you a panda bear? asked the splutsy bear. Splatsy bear? No, he said. Quietly, I'm a polar bear. Yeah, I'm all right, just like snow, he sighed. What? So Terrific. Terrifically splotchy pen. Splotchy panda bear would want to be friends with a plain white polar bear. But pandas. This face frightened. And I've never seen snow, he said. What is it like? So the polar bear explained and all about snow. But the more he talked, the more he remembered. And the more he, he remembered, the more he missed. Suddenly, the polar bear was homesick. Heck, I'll help you get home, said the panda bear. But the cliff, the polar bear replied. I'll think of something, said the panda. So he thought, hmm. And thought, I'm telling you, couldn't think anymore. <laughs> <sighs> Maybe we could use band boo. <sighs> suggested the polar bear. My mother told me never to play with food. But I think it's okay this time, said the panda bear. Together they made a long letter. <laughs> a very thin letter. When it was finished, the time had come for a polar bear to go. He looked at pan, Panda Bear. Would they still be friends after? He left. The polar, polar bear wanted to ask, but he wasn't sure how. Instead, he turned and slowly climbed the ladder. And climbed and climbed. The higher he went, the harder, harder the wind blew. The latter began to shake, and when it was suddenly still, the polar bear looked down, and there was panda. <laughs> You're not even taking the wrong video of the stuff he's asking about, okay? Panda, panda bear. Don't worry, the panda called. I've got you. 
in that picture. They had each other and a lot more to say. That ended. The pandas 